Hold on, I'm looking at my options for Eberrakim, because I've got some industry, but like, my squalor, it's adding to squalor, my public order is going down, it does get me some money, so I don't know if I should keep this stuff, but the city's not likely to become happy anytime soon. Yeah. Or should I just keep the food and, dis and dismantle everything else, returning me to a two-stack city? I might just do that for now. I'm going to do that for now. I don't know if that's a good decision or not. It might be a good short-term plan, yeah. Exa I need to get the city happy. As we've established, once you get, like, Hafen, Hafen has just been on cruise control for a while now. Like, they're just fine. I don't have to worry about them. And I'd like to get there with Everrackham too. Duna, right. you know, we're not going to put a lot of eggs in the Duna basket. Um, <laughs> oh, you mean the one that's on fire and completely on the wrong continent? <laughs> exactly. And I'm probably going to run my guys back to Everrackham unless, well, I mean, do you want to just hunt down that army, wipe them, and go for Tuesis? Or do you want to settle back in our, our cities and wait and see what they want to do? Especially if we fight again, I'm going to have to replenish for like three turns at least. So we can just try to wait for now. I'm within reinforcement range. If you can hunt them down again, they won't be able to run. I, I won't be able to until my next turn. Okay. Ooh, the Romans like me again. Trade agreement. Moderate chance of success. They're offering a non-aggression pack and a thousand bucks. No trade agreement. Add the trade agreement and make it 500 bucks that you demand. I'm going to only demand 300. Negotiation. Oh, they rejected so, it. So kind. Oh. All right. Well, all right. Well, all right. I'm going to add trade agreement. <laughs> I can do this. I can do this. I'll add some non-aggression pact. And I'm going to give them some money. They rejected it. All right. Hmm. How much money should I offer him, do you think? If they want the non-aggression pact, wait until they come back with it. Go ahead and accept it and let that build your relationship for a few turns and then go for the trade. Sounds good. So we'll just do... Yeah, if they, won't, if they won't take your offer, just don't They've do any... They've accepted non-aggression. They've accepted non-aggression. Okay. Wait, but for money, though? Did you get money out of it? No money. No oh, money because you, I already... If you waited. I... That's all right, though. Battle. Be greedy. I didn't need Thirsty the money as battle. much as I would like one ally, because currently you're my only ally. <laughs> so. All right, so, um, yeah. That's about all I can do. I've got a money surplus. So I'm not going to spend any of it right now. Do you want... I'm not going to send my troops from Hefen up to Angulus, just because we all know how that went last time, and you can easily fall back and we can Could reinforce. You? I mean, do you really want me to? Because that I can got... wipe out both our armies, dude. They've got 40 stacks. You can always fall back, protect the two towns you already have, and protect Hefen. I spend, I, feel like... I, I have 9,000, no, 12,000 gold invested in Angulus now. But we, we lost so much trying to keep Angulus last time. My navy can protect your homeland for one turn. <sighs> Come on, But dude. that's the thing. That's the thing. It, we're not going to, this isn't like we're going to fight them and they're going to be dead. They've got more stacks waiting in the wings. I'm just may, worried. May I remind you, my good ally, that I was not at war with the Burgundians until I I declared war to protect you. I understand. You. Look, no, 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 no. I, I'm I'm just trying to think of the smartest way to handle this is because we don't know their full strength. They're in the shadows right now, and last that's true. time we we really Angulus killed us last time because that's where we got surrounded and cut off and beat well, to death. no, I, actually, I'd argue that Angulus Angulus was like our Great Wall of China, like Angulus. I mean. Angulus, the town, killed some fools. Like, Angulus is hard to right, take. Right. That area of the map is where we got crushed to death, and I'm just nervous about moving an army. I'll only have one turn max to get an army back. But my, my navy plus your garrison will be a 20 stack. Okay. Now, I can't get all the way to Angulus this turn. I can get to... Almost right below Angulus. Angulus. I won't be in reinforcement range, though, if they attack you. That's that's fine. I think I'll take what I can get. Okay. All right. If you wait one more turn, I will be more replenished. You should or... continue to replenish slightly in my terrain too, because we're okay. allies. Here it goes. That's as close as I can get. Okay. Um. All right. I don't think I have any other moves. I'm still out there. I'm hoping you fight on two fronts right now. Just saying. 
I helped you fight on two continents. Mmm. Mmm. We're allies, that's what's important. <laughs> Enemy military investment, what does that mean? That means they're attacking you. Oh, they've... They're besieging... Why are they besieging a piece of smoking dirt? Let them, I'll attack them. I am that stationing my powerful navy just off your coast. Thank you. I just, I'm seeing this as like a chess game now. I just don't want to extend, you know? Right now, they're coming at us, and I feel safer if we just let them come at us and we hit them. I'm going to go for a level 3 tier military upgrade. It'll take 12 turns, but it will add two bars of recruited experience for missile and spear infantry. Mm -hmm. And I also get Nordic warriors that automatically replace the Nordic brigade. So that's more of like an organized force, even for Vikings, compared to our... I have a rebel Lord. army near Eberakum. Oh. Um, there are only four. But that's going to be something to watch out for. I don't think they're my rebels. I think they're Roman orders. rebels or something. But I'm going to want to help you take out that one army, and I'm probably going to swing back to Eberakum for a few turns. Ah, uh, they're your rebels, I'm pretty sure. I think they're just really? Western Roman because this territory is Western Roman. All right. No, it says they're Western. Eh, who knows? All right. Yeah, yeah. I, well, the guys up here were like uh, Britannic rebels. So I think it's like regional rebels. That's how it works. Now, I'm going to just hide here in Eldon. Feel free to retreat next turn. Okay. Because you can come back up and chase them away again. Like, that... Oh, look, Eberakim is actually getting quite happy. Your strategy is working. They are, yeah. Um, it's going to take a couple turns before I start getting the real benefits. But that's why I'm thinking if we just fall back and sit and let them make the next move, we'll just get stronger and save more money and... We can start thinking about extra stacked armies. Play it safe. I don't have any money where I can raise forces to send south from Alibu. I'm not making enough per turn. If I raise taxes again, that takes me to what? You, you're you just slightly positive in Alibu. I don't know if you want to give that up. No, nope, you're negative again. Yeah, that's not worth it. It gets me to 600 gold, but it's like negative six for every territory. For I say we defend Alibu, but if they come at it heavy, we fall back. Because it's not worth losing... E or, sorry, Angulus. I don't think it's worth losing everything over Angulus. If we lose two consecutive battles, we retreat with whatever's left. Okay. Agreed. Because then they might just be happy for a while with that. And we can settle the Britannia issue because we're right now. I'm more worried about Britannia because we have a lot of people to kill. Because not only do we have to kill the Adanians, which yeah. we're at war with, but Britain is at war with us, and they have two large towns that we are going to have to fight. So I just tried to game the system, and they thought of it. What? I was uh, 2,400 gold invested in rebuilding the town at Angulus, right? Mm -hmm. I'm being besieged. I was like, oh man. I should probably cancel that before I, I lose it. You can't cancel it when you're besieged. Uh, <laughs> you jerks. All right, let's see who wants to attack us. Don't want to make a move. If the Burgundians hold off just long enough for me to get up there, we'll easily roll them, and then we can hit the Rugians. Like, we'll, we'll vastly outnumber both armies, and it should be a non-event, and I can go home to Hefen and you I can keep Angulus. Unless another 20 stack just pops out of nowhere, which has happened before. <laughs> That's what I'm really worried about yeah. right now, is everything we can't see. Oh, okay, so the West Roman Empire is asking for a defensive alliance. That will never happen. The defense, or the, um, the non-aggression pact is all they get, because I'm looking at their, their like, faction status. No kidding, they have zero defensive allies right now. They have no military allies. They are at war with every faction that I know of. Like the entire world that our Viking factions know, they are all at war with the West Roman Empire. Nice. No defensive alliance for you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys are not good stewards of your men. We will not give you any of ours. <laughs> Basically. All right, Pix, what are you doing? Uh, can't see what they're doing. I'm just waiting for them to come out of the mist. 
Alright. Nope. What was that? Alright, they're running home to Iblana. That was a weird series of sounds. What was that? They like ran towards you and they were like, ha ha, JK. And turned around and ran off. Well, shoot. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, so the Burgundians are attacking me. They left Angulus and came after me. Uh, they out they outnumber me right now because I had some attrition. I'm going right. to fall back, which means I'm going to be farther away from you, but they might be able to chase me down. I don't see that I have a better choice. I think winter is next, too, and so you're going to have attrition, too. The only thing that could help me is I have a buttload of cavalry. Ooh. I have... 12 stacks of cavalry. What does their spear look like as far as strength? Uh, they're pretty strong and they have eight spears. Yeah, that's too close. I'm just worried if I retreat and they turn back towards Angulus, I've got to turn back around and run up. And if they chase after me and they can get to me, well, if they can get to me, it's going to be the same battle anyway. Yeah. All right, I'll retreat. And I can retreat pretty far because it's my territory. But so can they. All right. Guess we're going to do it. <laughs> All right. Want to make a save? Uh, I can't because I can only save on my turn. Fantastic. <laughs> I think. Uh, wait now. Yeah, your guys are pretty injured. Mm -hmm. mm. I have a lot of cavalry. That might be the only thing going for me is if we can route them hard. Give me just a, like six of those for my part, and then I will make good use of them. I And I say, I'll just stick all my skirmishers in the front and wave goodbye to them. We swing all the cavalry around the sides and just murder them. Because like, like all it. those slingers, they should break quick. Mm. Wouldn't you say? I think so, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to give you all of these. Six, okay. Two units of three each. And I'm going to move all my horses down to there. Ooh, I'm going to run them in columns. The thing is, my skirmishers, like, they're useless at head-on battles. So really, all they're going to do is be cannon fodder, unfortunately. What do you think of this, Jeremiah, for the, the column formations for making the attacks to the side? So if they throw stuff at you, it's only the first unit taking the hit. Sure. No, no, you put all your guys on the right, all my guys will be on the left. Can do. Just to simplify. And I'll do two three-stack columns. It's always raining. All right, you ready? <laughs> yeah, I guess. This is, this is going to be an interesting one. All right, I'm immediately moving my guys down to the side. I hear the war horns. The gods watch over us. I'm walking for now. Yeah, me too. That's oh, my plan. Wait. They're charging. They're running. Uh, at my cavalry or at my skirmisher? Just in general, a poor decision. I think they're over eager because of the odds. They are eager. General is alive. They are moving fast. Their general's on foot. And he's only medium melee, not uh, heavy, so... I'm thinking we take the Onager and we take the General. A couple devastating cavalry charges and we could really swing the battle pretty fast. I'm going to make a go-ahead dash to the right. Just go for it. Okay, let me speed up. All right, let, let's target, though. What units do we want to hit? They're shifting both spearmen and some hurlers towards me. And they're shifting down towards the hill towards me. They know what's up. Their general's kind of exposed, though. Yep, I'm swinging around. This is what cavalry's good for. They can't catch me. <laughs> They're spinning their lines around. I don't think they know what's going on here. Bring your ground troops up some, Jeremiah, because we're going to get caught in the middle. Like, split apart. I need to get him within melee range. Can you hit their king yet? I'm going to make an attempt, too, I think. Alright, well, I could break their skirmishes. Alright, they've got... 
I'm making the move now. They're, All right. Their far left flank went way wide, and so their general's wide open now. I put, sacrificed one of my horses to attack their horses coming at me, and I'm breaking their skirmishers. I'm going to try to break the skirmishers that are right near me. I'm swinging up three guys to help you. I'm going to run right before their spears get there. Yep, I'm going to break and run. That's going to be the word of the day. Yeah, I'm playing cat and mouse with their general right now. No, 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 don't charge the spears. Don't charge the spears. No. I didn't charge the spears. No, I was talking to my guys. Sorry. That's... Our men have given up and are running for their lives. Hitting their general from all sides. <laughs> Hitting the cavalry in the rear. I think it's the rear. All right, I'm going to fall all the way up the hill and work for hitting their spears from the back and let's consolidate a little bit to we'll see if this uh, works out for us all right I'm gonna try to break these um I got the general under control go for the spears if you can so we gotta kill them quickly or break them quickly our horses love blood. apparently our horses love yeah blood. they're breaking them they're breaking them sweet 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 sweet, sweet. All right, the enemy general's dead. Fantastic. Can you run your guys up, run them away from, make their spears run towards us, and let's try to break these um, slingers near me. You want to just regroup, get these slingers first, and then just regroup? Yeah, I'm saying the slingers back near our line. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've got the far left, and then I'm doing some mop-up, and then we should probably have your guys, your main lines, sit and replenish their strength. And then the horses do the same afterwards, after the rundown. Because I know mine are both injured and very tired now. Well, no. The men are broken and running for their lives. I'm going to form up my skirmishers. They're just mildly tired. I'm going to form my skirmishers up for the main battle. Okay. Yeah, these slingers are done for. I think I've now lost, yeah, those bounty guys aren't coming back, 13 left. Nope, no, they came back, he just said warriors never surrender, and like, in response to me it felt like. I think you have more cavalry left, I feel like I've lost a lot of mine. I think you got hit by the ranged guys as you came in. Alright, go ahead and bring your guys back, they're forming back up. Alright, that, that was a good hit on them. Yeah. This, this battle just got a lot easier. Dude, might we actually... Hold the line is the key now. Make them come to us and then hit them on both sides of the cavalry. I've got one unit going left. Uh, those I'm just gonna, guys are breaking. Let's see. I want to move all my cavalry just uphill. Because our skirmishers haven't done anything so far. Exactly. So how many how many we have uh seven cavalry left? Okay, not bad. Yeah, I want to let your skirmishers begin the engagement and make them come at us. And then I we'll... don't think that they're not. They're going to run for the cavalry. They're not coming for. Hmm. Well, they have to though. I can just keep running away. It's it's like no issue just to keep running. Their onager hasn't really been hitting us. Uh, what I are don't they see... doing? They're just running around in circles. There's no men on the onager. Yeah. I oh, oh, I killed it. I killed it. That's right. Okay, so it's just the shell sitting there. When I charged the general, I went right past the onager. Hey, um, their slingers are breaking out. <laughs> Not for long. I'm gonna break one unit off. Two are going for them. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the bottom slinger units. Yeah, they reformed downhill. But and my those... guys are fresh. <laughs> oh, look at them running. That was a mistake. Those slingers aren't gonna make it. <laughs> I'm going into the first person camera for this one. Oh, my game's lagging. I hope they're running spears up. Shoot. Hit and run, my, hit and run. My cavalry didn't make it down all the way down. They got caught up. All right, all right, I'm following my cavalry back. Yeah, pull that quick. You got like seconds. Yeah, look at that horse regroup. Okay. Let's pull way back, Jeremiah, and make them hit your ground units, because our, our horses are doing all the work. Yeah, I agree. And, and what what are your cavalry doing? Swing around the side there. Oh, just getting right about there. It'll all be right, an yeah. uphill charge, but I've got enough I have enough skirmishers that that should really hurt them. 
zoom into their army and look up at the hill. You just see silhouettes of horses on the horizon. All right, it looks like they're actually moving up now. We're actually going to have a fight here. I'm going to swing my cavalry around the back of yours. Okay. They're, they're ignoring us now. Let's get way uphill and we'll come all the way around behind them. Start moving your downhill cavalry. Start moving them behind them. Okay. I'm going to move my general back. Deadly missiles your Vikings are yelling in anger. Oh, your skirmishers are doing some pretty good work there. Their slingers are dead first. Followed by those skirmishers. Those spearmen. And those axemen. I'm making the charge. It's happening. Alright, I'm coming in as well. Dude, there's so many horsemen. This is... Yeah. They made a mistake. Ah, oh, general died. Shoot, that's all right. We're 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 gonna take him. Yeah. Help me hit those axe men. It's pretty rough combat right now. Very nice. Boom. Battle is turning in our wow. Way. Run him down. Run yours. him down. Oh shoot! I already hit him. Ah. Oh. Sorry. But still. I saved that replay as horse, yo. <laughs> that that is definitely that's one of our our better routes. There. Look at the numbers. Dang, yeah, I really didn't think we had a shot there. I'm putting those horses back in the stable. <laughs> I seriously, I think I, I think that's a viable strategy. Twelve stacks of horses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the hun strategy, you know. Ooh, I'm gonna able to get a fifteen percent replenishment. Ah, shoot, they're heading south. Oh, look, Duna's getting attacked again. Take that's, it. I don't care. That's definitely north, by the way. Sorry. Yeah, I'm looking at the map backwards. <laughs> You're a special snowflake. Well, I don't want to, like, I want to be looking at the enemy. <laughs> but that's where the frame rate drops. All right. I hope they're proud of themselves. They've taken Duna now. No, you still have it. What? <laughs> Just take it. It cost me money. <laughs> <laughs> They've already killed everyone there. It's just like burning buildings and Yeah, orphans. why would I fix it at this point? <laughs> Western Roman Separatists. Oh, I couldn't. They're, they've taken Duna now. Oh, all right. Whatever. Jeremiah, how could you not pay attention to your rebellion in Duna? Come on. Jeez. Jeez. Dang. All right. All right I'm definitely going to fall back to Hefen. Okay. If that's all right with you. Yeah, I mean, that's... You did your duty right there. Right there. I'm going to hold the line at Angulus, and I have enough money next turn, somehow, to raise a new army. So I'll have two back home. Okay. And I'm going to take the Frost Wolves and start cruising back towards Eberakum. Because I do have my rebel army near there. And it's going to take me a couple turns to get back. Don't forget, that is your king, too. I know. <laughs> I keep forgetting, so I'm going to... I have an objective you. to assassinate Gesalic. Who is Gesalic? Not one of my guys. Whatever. Probably not going to complete that one. We'll just see how it goes. Alright. Um, so, in Britannia, I think that's all I can do right now is just run home. Yeah, the picks are really concerning me because they have two full stacks plus a fortified town. But we need to get our armies up to fighting strength before we come out against them. If I can save yes, up money, I'm yes. going to raise my second army from Eberakum. Okay. Because um, they have... They can get all the advanced tech and stuff. I'll raise mine back home for Angulus, and I'll keep my navy back home too. I'll, I'll focus a little bit more on our home territories. That's where we messed up last time, so yeah. I agree. That's probably, <clears throat> probably a good plan. Um. Oh, well, shoot! I gotta raise more people for the Serpent Slayers because they lost some guys in that battle. I think I'm gonna get more cavalry. 
No, no, no. Unless you lost some, I wouldn't go too crazy. Like, you need a distraction force that can hold the line while you mop up, you know? Yeah. I'll get spears then, because we had no spears. That would have actually been nice. Yeah, just to make a wall and wait for the cavalry to hit him from behind. Alright, I'm still losing a lot of food. Um, can you upgrade your farms at all yet? No. I don't, I don't have livestock herd tech and stuff. That sucks. I'm going to see real quick, how do the Romans feel about me now that we've been friends for? Friendly and improving. We'll just nice. let that go for a while. I'm not going to... And we got enough issues right now. I'm actually making money now, even though I'm losing food, so... Well, that's things exciting. Aren't, things aren't great, but, you know, we'll deal. Um, okay, I think that's about all I can do. All right, my governor has completed his term of office, as has this other governor. A worthy bride. A subject is in love. Let's they give a blessing. That. Once again, I am a kind Viking. <laughs> Demolition complete, sacred well. <laughs> <laughs> Can I convert it to... Yeah, I can convert it to a sacred ground now. That seems really unexciting. Like, just survey a spot. Yep, guys, this is the sacred spot now, the new one. <laughs> Haven't you heard? Everyone's in agreement, right? Everyone saw this one This one is sacred. That is Th correct. This is the new sacred spot. It's kind of grassy, very pleasant. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to raise an army. In Alibu? In Alibu. The war gulls. Hmm. That's no. not the best. <laughs> the blood canaries. <laughs> he had upgrades right off the bat. That's interesting. How do I rename the army? Do you know? I'm Is not it... sure. Go with like the violence pheasants. Oh, the go to force details, not general okay. details. Give me a good name, Jeremiah. Come on now. Let's, um, let's do this. I mean, war. Let's, let's go with something to go with war. Gulls is bad. It needs to be one syllable, though. No, no. Here we go. The war wolves? I feel like war wolves is pretty good. Winter is coming. All right. That'll do. <laughs> <laughs> After all, I am the far north Vikings. It's winter time right now, and my troops are just loving it. Whereas the Burgundians are... <laughs> They're, like, destroyed and losing men again. I do wish I'd run them down. I feel bad about that now. It would have helped. But... It would have helped, but still, I, I think we know we know the secret. And I am recruiting a extreme amount of troops and possibly some mercenaries, too. Yeah, mounted warband. That's going to cost me, wait, how much per turn? Okay, so mercenary cavalry is not cheap. This one is 320 per turn. That's... I'll do mounted raiders instead. I can do two of those. You're just preparing for the inevitable violence. I'm yeah. raising some spearmen. Do you want me to follow the Burgundians down? Can you move yet if you're recruiting? I don't think you can. No, I'll, I'll be. Uh, it'll take me another turn. Yeah. Um. If you would, well, actually, no, because next turn my recruitment will be complete, and I can start moving. Okay. Well, on the other hand, you are safe. So yes, yes. If you could do that, that'd be good. Uh, okay, because you still have the icicles of blood to hold off the dragon slayers, uh, farther south there. So well, that's a pretty the, sweet army name, dragon slayers. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, you should you should take it when they die. <laughs> um, but you know we could. We could definitely choke off the Burgundians and kill them. Not that that's going to do much, because they have multiple armies. They just haven't brought anyone else over, which is interesting. That is interesting, yeah. I hope they're weak. I hope. They're probably... I mean, you would, you would think if they had a lot to spare, they would have sent it. Yeah. Or it's moving in the shadows right now. I'm hoping that seeing we have factions that we're not at war with, that I'm they will that be uh, doing some infighting, not just all focusing on us this time.
Pick still not making a move? They're thinking something hard here. I don't know about this. Uh, what are they doing? Nope, look who's back. What? <laughs> Alright. Okay, so that 20 stack was a ground army. They have reinforced their capital, so we're going to have to fight our way up to it. Burgundians are coming south. If back they, to Angulus. If they besiege and me. Oh. They have another 20 stack. Smart. Mm. Okay. All right. One more turn and I can get to you. I can't move yet. Uh, I I cannot retreat. I can only sally forth. Sally forth, baby. I think we, uh, their their other army can't reinforce yet. The boar tusks. It, it can. It can. It they're, can. They're How? both here. Yeah. Okay. So oh, you. If you just run them down a bit more, they've recruited a few new new troops too. It's, I'm sorry, man. Uh, I'm gonna lose my army. Uh. We'll, we'll, we'll hurt. We'll hurt them. It's, it's going to be bad. And my army is going to be ready to go, and you're going to have another army ready to go. We're not going to lose this area. We will be dying on the same city. <laughs> we might have towers. If you're sallying forth, are you actually at the city? My options are to sally forth or fight the battle on the battlefield. And if I just fight on the battlefield, it's the town. So Let's do that, because Angulus, Angulus can take it. Yeah. Well, you don't have as many archers as I'd like. Yeah, this is a very melee heavy, but we can make shield walls. We have lots of swordsmen. And let the towers do the work. There better be towers. And you have a couple, you have one thing of cavalry. If you want to give them to me, I'll go take the onagers. Ooh, yeah. That'd be good. Because you know their army is going to push aggressively. Oh, our old friend. <laughs> Oh, it's cold. This is actually my kind of battle, too. Dang, your guys are way outside of town. They will bleed for us! Yeah, that's a weird spawn Our point. Oh, they're coming from the... the I don't see towers. towers. Yeah, uh, it's burned. There's no towers. Alright. I'm going to give you... They're going to hit us from two sides. They've got onagers on each side. Would you like a mixed force? Uh, sure. But I'm going to take cavalry and go for the onagers as soon as I can. Okay. So you said that other army is going to be able to reinforce? Yes. I have barricades set up so that they're going to have to at least engage me where I am, if nothing else. That's a little comfort, I guess, but... Let's see what I got here. I'm gonna put my cavalry up there so they can start running pretty soon. So I guess I'll face off against this one army over here. Um, do you want to just bottleneck back here? How are they for range? Well, got... They're gonna hit us. They're gonna hit us from two sides, though. They do have a lot of range. Yeah. You can't really bottleneck them. Man, I'm really not sure what to do here. That's my thought was like, maybe I could just use my guys you gave me and just hold that one army kind of over my direction from getting to us. I can hold, uh, I'm drawing on the map, that army. Yeah, you can probably take them actually. I'm going to fortify the hillside. What do you think? Sure. Slingers, I want you right. Let's see. Um, could you get your probably just put your archers up in your on your parapet? I'm not sure how far their range is though. It shows you. Yeah, I've got them exactly where they should be. Then, yeah, that, okay. there we go. That's. So they're going to be getting fired on the entire time they're walking up. Yep. And then my slingers will be firing standard shot, while the archers fire flaming shot. Alright. I'm just lining stuff up now. And the, But this is all before reinforcements get here. This is all before reinforcements get here, that is correct. Think of it this way. They'll probably win, but my army's going to be recuperating, and since I'm in a famine right now, I'm just going to disband units and rehire them to get around the attrition. Right. 
and then you can build up your army down south and we'll just bring 220 stacks up and clean up anything that's left winter is coming eventually eventually yeah i i think we're okay here this is going to be a disappointing loss but we're not desperate right now and yes in the future i will definitely run the enemy down more <laughs> are your horse where you want them yeah i mean there's no i can't get them far enough away yeah, yeah. to really do anything so you should be able to scoot around i'm gonna go ahead and I start so. yeah As long as they don't get, like, seen too quickly. We fight now to defend this sacred ark. Defend these walls with your lives. And if they are breached, and we are... Enemy reinforcements have been spotted. <laughs> My general was giving this inspirational speech, which was interrupted by... Enemy reinforcements have arrived. The enemy draws near. Oh, that Onager hit. Oh, they're within range right from the start. Missile armed warriors! I'm going to loose formation. Yeah, loose formation. Loose formation now. All right, I'm just going to charge my cavalry in. Their guys are too far past them, so I should be able to get rid of mine pretty soon. Everybody, loose formation. Loose formation now. Back warriors, back. Our men have given up and are running for their lives. Wow, that was quick. Wow, lost half a unit of spearmen to the onagers. They must be ranked up because they're hitting uh, deadly. As soon as I get these onagers, I'll send the cavalry around back. They'll be out of ammo by then, but yeah. Okay, I'm hitting their onagers now. And that went fast. They're going. Nice, nice charge. Look at that. All right, and they're attacking my spear, guys. You get those slingers next, I bet, too. They're yeah, if you, don't want, if you don't want me to worry about their onager, I'll... On yeah, your side, that's what I'll do. Because it'll take you a few minutes to get there anyway. There's just... Whoa! I wouldn't worry about it. Missile! We must defend the barricade! Doors! Protect us! Forward! Warriors! Wow, the pathfinding. Come on. General's down us. already. Uh, a lot of their guys are splitting off to the side, just Castle! letting you know. Yeah, I see that. Over near me. Not really sure what's up. Oh, I, putting people in loose formation in the town makes them pathfind all over the place, like Empire. <laughs> yeah, I see him up there. I'll have my war dogs go in. Watch I'm your gonna left kinda, I'm going to make a right angle, yep. We're going to wipe this army for sure. Yeah, where are the reinforcements? Probably way behind us. Because they are, like, those... The power bar has definitely swung, but I'm not seeing anybody yet. What's well, good, trying at least. to take out our general! Defend him! <laughs> the nobles are getting speared from four different directions. Alright, my cavalry are rested up now. Do their onagers stop hitting you? No, go ahead or and they're go very for tired. Them. They're very tired, sorry. They're not rested up. Run them. Just run them. I'm getting hit still. All right, I'm Sucks. going to clean up. They've got a set of skirmishers sitting there doing nothing. I'm pretty sure cavalry against skirmishers is pretty easy. Warriors, so I'll go ahead and hit ready. them on the way past. Yeah. The enemy general is fallen. This weekend, oh. cavalry are the bestest. <laughs> the general died trying to break through the barricade. The cavalry have not lost a single man so far. Nice. And they are getting rocked. Bye, skirmishers. That's what I like to hear. Ah, I see their army coming now. Oh boy. Alright, it's going to take them a while to get here. That's good. They're shaking and exhausted. Their army that's coming in now. Alright, their onagers are running out. Like, their onagers are out now. So I'm just going to move the cavalry up. I think I'm going to move all my guys, all my foot soldiers up and just join your battle. Because. Okay. They're not doing anything. I'm gonna walk my um, my cavalry just for a minute, then I'm gonna hit those slingers that you're running towards right now. Yeah, I'll keep them running for now. Yeah, their army is very shaken. 
their generals right. died at the barricade, and that's that's gonna cost Dude, their whole. They're coming up. They're coming up the hill. We wrecked people on before. Get your archers. Start moving your archers around now. Get okay. them on the parapet. And I have a barricade up there too, by the way. Yeah. All right. This isn't that hopeless. It's we not great. Defeat two armies. That's gonna be hilarious. Here, you turn all your guys around. I'll run down the slingers. Turn all your guys around. Get your defense set up, okay? I'm going. I'm going now. I'm starting to run my guys. I, I walked them for a couple minutes, and they're good to go now. Yeah, turn all your guys around. I got it. I'll just send all my foot soldiers. I'll start sending them up over to the, the death wall area that okay. we had last time. Their onagers guys are gonna run around to meet up with the other army. <laughs> so you run into Big Brother. A lot of their guys have disappeared into the woods. You need to start running, people, if you haven't. Oh, they're all running. Yeah. A unit has fired all of its ammunition. Oh, the cavalry have lost one person. Huh? <laughs> Your dogs are still chasing their their slingers. <laughs> and here come the cavalry. Nice. Come on. Oh, wow, the dogs are relentless. Oh, that's horrifying. My human said you must die. I'm glad they can tell uniforms. They're officially broken. You want me to swing the cavalry around and go for their onager guys now? Or do you want me to run them down? Um, I say forget about running them down. We just need a victory for today. Right now. Yeah, get, go ahead and start flanking them from behind is what I would say. Dude, we've lost one cavalry. Nice. Shoot, I was hoping we could get into that death wall area before things got bad. They're because more exhausted can... than I am, though. Okay. I'm right, tired, I'm gonna... but... They're coming for the barricade. I'm going to swing my guys up, and um, I'm going to try to hold them there. Yeah, if you get your, um, get your archers into position, this isn't, this isn't hopeless. Yeah, because even their slingers are really close to the wall. Yeah, get your archers up on that wall, and you'll just be able to dump on them the whole time. Or they can just stay safely behind the wall, I guess. Get your skirmishers on the wall, maybe? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do right here, is get the skirmishers up. Who my, uh, my guys are... My first set of spears are wavering a little bit. Alright. I'm just going to make an awkward line here. Let's just take them right in front of the barricade. Alright, their Onager guys are going to get back before my cavalry get there. But you'll be in position to hit him in the rear. Maybe the dogs, once the dogs are by themselves, and those uh, soldiers I, I don't in the know. back. How do cavalry do against dogs? That's a good question. I, good, I would assume. The men are broken and are fleeing. Pierce their hearts. Oh, oh I didn't have, wow. I didn't have time to make lines. I'm just going to My bowmen are just firing right down into the spears, and it's working really well, even with a flaming shot. Oh my gosh. It's a massacre. The morale's going down. Uh, I'm just gonna run into the back of them and see what happens with those dogs. They have a lot of dogs. I did make one mistake here, and that's that I did not realize I had so many, um... I had so many ground units who had marched into the center of the area, and I can't climb the barricade from behind. So they're gonna have to run all the way around again. But they're going now. I'm hitting them from behind. I think I should fall back. Yeah, yeah, don't don't hit him yet. Wait for your moment. Fall back. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. I lost a lot of guys. I lost a lot of guys. Yeah, they're, you're, they you're got, going. They got too many melee. Or they have too many missiles. Ah, dang it. That's all right. Those guys, they did their work. Okay. All right, so you're running your guys all the way back around? Yeah. I think we're gonna lose it, but they're gonna lose both of these armies' effectiveness, basically. Maybe. Yeah, we're losing guys hard in front of that barricade. My game's lagging. There's the morale break. Oh, hey, hey, there we go. Alright, alright. Dude, look at that strength bar. Form a line, form a line. Alright, yep. Because I still have a little bit of melee left, or not melee, uh, ranged with the Here, archers. Here, I'm going to form the line so that the skirmishers will be able to hit them from the side. Okay. Wait, why did my men break after they ran away? They'll be back. That's not a real break.
<laughs> Those dogs have to come up the hill. Oh, you're breaking them. You're breaking them. Dude. We're getting I, hit by range now, though. Knock on wood, but this might beers? happen. Wow, what a Dude, massacre. You, you need to get your guys formed up in the lines. Because my guys are trying to form up, but your guys in front of the barricade or near the barricade aren't doing much. Let's get a line stretched. Yeah, yeah. My archers are now out of ammo. Shoot. Not the second unit, though, just the first. Okay. Skirmishers gonna... still have stuff, right? Yeah, I'm gonna get him back in the corner. Look at the line of men retreating out of the city. That's wow. The Angulus doesn't mess around. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> city of heroes. Here comes the charge. Looks like a lot of them are skirmishers, war dogs, spearmen. Is their general retreating? Their general's retreating. He's already gone. All their guys are shaken. Uh, your second set of archers is almost out. We will pierce their hearts. Wait, are my... Oh, my axemen are, like, throwing axes. You know, the Nordic band, they have... Oh, they have small spears. Imagine coming up the hill under all that fire, stuck in that crowd, and then seeing, like, the bodies you have to climb over to get to the enemy. Our men run from the enemy! Ah, uh, their dogs are attacking your slingers, but since the Eat unit isn't there, there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> art skirmisher, ready. run straight at- yeah, run straight at us, that'll work. Oh shoot, your slingers broke, okay. They Push were- the they were fodder, that's not- Dogs suck at barricades, <laughs> look at them just standing there. My oh, skirmishers on the wall, notice they have the ammo still, they're throwing off the wall. There's their general. He's not. Dude, look at the retreat line. I know, right? <laughs> Angulus does it again. <laughs> How do we get into position, even? Archers, oh, you know what you need to hold Angulus? You just need tons of archers. Jeremiah, their general is focusing on the wall. Break right. Swarm the general. <gasps> no. No, we won. Holy crap, dude. We just won. Swarm the general. Swarm him. He's stuck against the wall. Because we can't chase out anybody else, but... Who bad? Who bad? <laughs> Man! We well, bad. up until you said that. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, so for Angulus, all you need is a ton of archers and enough spearmen to keep the archers protected. And barricades. And barricades. They are just running. I'm all the way out, like, a mile from the city, just looking at... So their army is still very strong. Uh, Make no mistake about it. I call it medium well. But I mean, like, there's still tons of them left. They will regroup. But that should buy you enough time to buy all the archers. And the majority of these units, though, are already at least half strength. They're going to break so much more quickly in battle. Yeah, they are. But if you have, like, five units of archers just sitting up there, just dumping on them, it's going to be pretty easy. You know, I feel like archers with flaming shot, and then maybe some of the skirmishers to throw, like, the heavy spears in the midst of all that, close, mm -hmm. that might be the way to go. I'm, um, I'm excited to see how many people we killed. <laughs> oh, well, okay. A about fair. But we routed. Wow. That was, man. That's only showing one army, though. Not the first army. Oh, okay. Yeah, because... Are you sure? The second army did reinforce. Yeah. Yeah. The children of the oak are still up and running. I'm going to take on warriors for punishment 10%. Alright. Wait. Here my it's winter time. They lost even more troops now. <gasps> the Burgundians are running away. Oh no. <sighs> the Rugians. How many do they have? Uh two thousand three hundred and seventy two. <sighs> They've been waiting Versus. there for like six turns. Versus. 1,190 battered troops. Are we even going to have ammo? I think you will. Well, there's one way to find out. <laughs> oh. Angulus. 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 Every time they get knocked down. Like... 
We're still pulling bodies like off the pile so we can see who's still alive. We should just be piling them up now. <laughs> they have a lot of slingers. A lot of spears too. That's pretty balanced actually. Alright, just want to go for the keep defense? My archers yep. have full ammo. They're all coming from one direction. I have two barricades as well. The city lies close to ruin. Yeah, forget it, dude. We're going 100% in there. I'm giving you a bunch of melee. Okay, well, just barricade the back. We're going to call it the death wall, where the, the army breaker. I don't know what you want to call <laughs> it, but that one area. How about we just call it wave breaker? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to give you... A lot of melee, some skirmishers, Wait. the 12 horse, and the dogs. Okay. okay. And I'll, I'll take just, care of all the archers and stuff. And I'll just do my thing. Uh, I guess the dogs are fast, the horses are fast. Those will be my guerrilla units. Okay. And then spears, you just tell me wh where you want me to hold them, and I'll hold them. Because they've got to come thinking... in this narrow little valley right here, right? I mean, that's their only choice. Yeah, I'm thinking, um... Help me make a spear wall. And okay. just let our melee, or I keep calling them our, my archers melee, our ranged guys just rain death down for as long as possible. Man, all the... Kind of hard to do a spear wall right there, but... That'll do. Now, bring it in closer behind the barricade, I'd say. So the whole time that they're hitting the barricade, my archers are raining arrows down upon them. And then, Wait, where, where's your barricade? Uh, just to your left. Oh, right okay, there. okay. Do you want me to be actually, do you want me to be, like, back here? Yeah. Actually, can you help me make two lines? Like, put, put some archers. Let me draw some lines here. Or put two spears here. Okay. And then, like, two right here, right outside the fort. So they're going to have to, like, go up levels while getting hit the entire time. Oh, okay, so we're going to make them come all the way up into the fort. Yeah, they're going to hit us with slingers, but I think this is still the best solution. Do you want some guys on the walls? On the barricade? You know what? That's a good idea. Let me put, um... Oop. Let me put... And then... Yeah, it's these skirmishers. Uh, all right, now I've got some swordsmen. I'll just put them on the hill as well. If you look from the bottom up, that's pretty imposing. I mean, it's going to hurt them, that's for sure. I'm just worried about oh, their slingers. If we can just do the same strategy as usual, where we just have to... You don't have to defeat them all. You just got to break them a couple units at a time. You ready? I'm ready. I'm going to send the horses and the dogs straight through the woods, swing around, and kill whoever I can. Okay. Twelve horsemen and some puppies and a very loud war horn, apparently. Our homes, or will we all be in the arms of the gods? Fight like boars and defend uh, And I'll just try to break city. slingers off from the sides. I think the enemy draws near. My warlord is up to back up to one hundred and twenty men. They have a lot of Germanic warband, which are the, the Axemen. That could be concerning if they break through, but they'll pay. I'm going to fast forward for just a second while they come in here. All right. There's the slingers. I'm going to start hitting slingers on the side. <laughs> oh, look who's running. <laughs> it's like a whole bunch of them over there. Okay, I'm going slow. I mean, I've got, I don't have enough, the horses are going to die. Yes, yes, funnel. Their slingers can't shoot up because of the rock face, so they're going to have to face at least the front of our defenses. Alright, they've got spears swinging back towards me. Very good, very good. You still got 12 horses. To... Pull off, I'd say. Yeah, I'm going to pull them off. I'm pulling them off. I'll make them run after me. Oh, seven horses. I think that uh, was it. Yeah, you can't pull off, as it turns out. Not with that um, yeah. I'm just, my dogs. Now. I'm just going to run my dogs into the slingers the thing. Enemy, that just wasn't us. enough to really do anything with it. Yeah. But but that's okay. Ooh, you're a spearman. You might want to spread them out thin. Um, there we go. There's the first barrage from the archers. 
So they are gonna go up and try to come around, right. but I have a barricade there too, so it's not gonna do them much good. You want to swing around, put some guys on the barricade? I'll move these skirmishers back. The barricades. The enemy attacks. If nothing else, they're having to really suffer to take this town. And I will move my 20 stack ASAP. And hopefully, if they work like the AI has been working, they won't take the town. They'll just sack it. Watch your right flank down there. Alright, I'll go ahead and wall them up. Oh, no, no. Guys over the barricade. Spears over the barricade. Or axes over the barricade. Oh, man, that volley of arrows from the sky. Our men have given up and are running for their lives. Alright, I'm moving my guys in. I'm gonna try to hold them down there. Yep, I'm engaging. Ooh, we're getting <laughs> slingers on the side. <laughs> Those oh fire arrows. <laughs> that is epic. Again, this is just like, this is a pitiful defense numbers wise. But man, it's fun. And there goes some more fire arrows right there. I think it might be time to switch to whistling shot, or do they look like they're not wavering enough? They're not wavering enough. It's just not worth the whistling shot. Lives. The fire arrows can at least kill some of them, too. Oh, man. Their, their slingers are ripping us from the side. Yeah, unfortunately. We're going to have to fall back some. That's okay. I'm going to reform lines right back here. My guys will just stay down there, just to hold them as long as possible. Unless you want me to fall back. I think you're not going to be able to. If you turn, it's, it's over. Right. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> that rain. Alright, my guys are all broken. They probably won't be able to get out of there. From here on out, though, their slingers won't be able to do that and shoot into our side. All right, all right, you're breaking one of their spear units. Archers adjust this way. You got any spears you can put at that entrance there where you got the swordsman? Unfortunately make, not. You can turn the swordsman into a spear wall. I'm out of units, by the way. Not that you I can give me more. Not. Okay. It just look at the arrows, it just looks so awesome. Man, this makes me wish you had like six units of archers. Yeah, this is two units of archers and then two of skirmishers. Alright, get all your swordsmen in there. Pack pack that opening. Oh, what's happening? General's going in too. This is cause this is another choke point now. Ah. Falling back, they're, they're too far out. Shoot. Your skirm Alright, your skirmishers are throwing stuff now. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. Come closer. Come closer. <laughs> That's it, chase me. Into the breach. <sighs> Turn around. <laughs> that was pretty sweet. Those slingers, they're chucking stuff up at you, but I don't think it's going to hurt you. Yeah, it's. Very lightly hitting the walls and a few of my my bowmen. Bows. Let's go. If you concentrate all your bows right on the, the guys at your entrance there, you can possibly break them hard. Yeah, I am focusing all my archers now. Missile armed warriors. Their generals coming up, and that'll be the end of things. But they're gonna lose like forty percent of their army, beating my battered army. And. I'm going to bring all that cavalry up. All those slingers that are going to live through this battle. The men are broken and running for their lives. I just used war cry on the enemy troops and their morale just took a huge hit. Your archers are still shooting downhill at the slingers. Yeah, they're on the wall, so the ones who can't aim at the people I'm telling them to are just doing their own thing. They're in. And that was the break.
All Let's right, see that, how the that was stats a, went. That was a good fight. Wow, yeah. Almost killed a thousand of them. Now, a lot of what they have left is slingers. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, there goes about. 13,000. That sucks. You, and they're riding home. I can't even believe they just did that. Burn They'll it pay. and run. They'll pay. Who was that? <laughs> I'm not even sure. Or the Rusians. No, no, it was one of their allies. A small ally to the south. Oh, really? I thought yeah. it was the Rusians, because the Burgundians are the ones that still have the Children of the Oak hanging out. Not for long. Yeah, yeah. It was one of their small allies. <sighs> All my rage. I'm still currently yes. famined. So yeah, before I take Angulus again, it's gonna be with a, a full stack. Thirsty for battle. With archers and cavalry. I'm going to kill that rebel army real quick. Oh, that's not actually not going to be as decisive of a victory as I thought. Want to help me fight it? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, it's going to be a victory, but it's not going to be They have an quite interesting set of units. I think we're going to do the good old cavalry charge when in doubt. They've got cavalry too. Ooh, they have crossbowmen. Fancy. All right. Oh, they got to come uphill at us. Well, well <laughs> Honiger's going to get a workout. Um. All right, I'm going to give you those guys. Um. Want me to give? I'll give you all the cavalry. Okay. We'll just reverse the script on what we normally do, and you can just uh, you know, all that. I'm going to hide a bunch of my skirmishers in the woods here. <laughs> nice. Although, I think they're probably not going to come to me. I'll probably have to go to them. Well, I'm ready. Yeah, it's still probably best to go ahead and kill this army before it grows any bigger. Let's do it. I'm going to speed it up for a couple minutes and just see if they, they start marching. coming towards me. All right, I'm going to speed it up. Just see. They're coming. Not very decisively. All right, cavalry are coming up through the woods. Right side. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hang back. Hit him with your onager to get him to come. Or is it already happening? It's already happening. Let's turn the fire on. <laughs> Always a good decision. We have sighted the enemy. And I'm going to turn on the barrage. They have heavy melee. You might want to focus on them. Oh, you already killed 19 of them. Never mind. Watch it hit. Oh, I was looking uphill. Oh. Oh. They're marching into the fire. That's a lot of screaming people. And we're going to go ahead and do fire arrows on the archers as well. And when they get close enough, my... Uh, all my skirmishers are going to hit them. Alright, oh. go ahead and do whatever you want with your cavalry. Um, I think your onager is still focusing on the ranged guys, the crossbowmen. Oh, their cavalry's charging. Their cavalry's charging. I'm going to let them um, go for your They're skirmishers. Coming. Okay. Because I can't take that many horse. Make a line and hit him if you can. I'll hit him from the side.
All right, and archers are engaged. And the trees are burning. I'm going to go for the general from behind. Oh, and my skirmishers are they are going to turn the cavalry around in that hill. <laughs> Look at that tree on fire in the center. And now there's fire arrows chasing them over the ridgeline. I think line. my favorite thing in the world is, is missile units. <laughs> oh, my cavalry survived. I was actually expecting to lose them. We'll go after the crossbowmen. And their general's gonna get hit. The men are broken and running for their lives. Who is always in our favor? Those spearmen in the front oh. are just gonna take it hard. Those archers, uh, crap! I gotta break off. I'm gonna bring all my skirmishers in from the side. You want me to come down and help you? Do you need help down there? Yeah, I. I'm gonna try to break. I completely forgot about their last cavalry unit that was off by itself. Okay, I broke off. He hit me from behind when I was killing their general. Alright, I'm gonna bring my skirmishers in from the side. Their crossbowmen are still alive. Falling back. They want me bad. They want me in range of the crossbows, but what they want it. It's yeah, they're gonna Riders stop me here. Forward. Our men have given up and are running for their lives. You still have onagers? Uh, oh, they're almost out. And they're not. They're gonna be out of range. The king's out of range of them now. Okay. Okay, their cavalry is broken. Can you hit those crossbowmen and I will break the cavalry charge off? Uh, yes. Enemy units have returned to the battle. You got quite the slugfest going on up here, don't you? Yeah, but I mean, we're going to win have it regrouped. for sure. It's closer than I would like. I'll take care of the crossbow. Hit their king now, if you would. Arena, our horses love blood. Mounted raiders, ready for battle. And I will run these guys down. Oh, those fire arrows in the back. That one onager still has stuff. Boom. Our men are rallying. They're not done yet. <laughs> Look at that general, he's like, oh crap, which way do I face? <clears throat> so that's heavy melee. Um, if you wanna if you wanna wait, I'm almost done up at the top of the hill. I'll be done soon at least, and we can come back down. Do you guys have axes you can throw? Wow. I, uh, my king has not done anything yet. He's ready to fight. My horses are now like throwing hand axes. The well, uh, it happens now. <laughs> let's, let's waste the king. Look, look at the horse. <laughs> Triple anvil. <laughs> All the way. Come on, Pathfinding. Let's go. Probably unnecessary, but let's be thorough. Oh, oh, watch him, watch him, watch him. Your, uh, call your skirmishers off. I'm, I just lost a unit of horse. I'll switch him to melee. They're still throwing. He's got five men left. They're like on the ground begging for their lives. One of your horsemen just said, after this, we deserve to drown in wine. <laughs> oh, that's great. I think, yeah, once he gets down to the last unit or two, they just can't kill them. Super obnoxious. I'll fast go ahead and forward. No, fast forward. Kill him. Okay. 
to wow not creative assembly's finest moment boom <laughs> wait all right king's king's gone then i guess huh it's just other people far away running away it's all in the battle then cool i'll need to chase all them down we have won some impressive battles we fought some impressive battles this evening <laughs> yeah this one was your choice <laughs> I know, but I think we've had like three awesome battles. Yeah. Four awesome battles. Four, yeah. Two with Angulus, as is our custom. <laughs> oh, and looks like you have a 20 stack picked army. Alright. Yeah, my guys are going to be hurting for a little bit. I got to get them back to Everrackham. And you have a 20 stack pick army. But you have a 20 stack army. At Eilden, so. And they're almost full strength again. And they're experienced. Like, the general is pretty experienced. Alright, I think I know a good way to end this episode. The Children of the Oak have two units left. How about I take the Serpent Slayers and, uh... Slay them? Although, they're gonna be able to retreat, probably, and get away. Yeah, probably. Who cares? <laughs> and we actually can't end an episode not on my turn, because I have the ability to save. Good point. I mean, would you like to save after all this? All right. Want to fight this one on the field or just let him take it? Um, I'm going to zoom in real close and you just go ahead and hit that auto resolve button and I'm going to watch the little... Uh... Oh, oh, I, 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 sorry. I thought you meant zoom in close on the battlefield. Well, I'm going to take all the cavalry and we're just going to run them over. That's the plan. We call this the lawnmower. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm just going to move all the cavalry up to the front. And when the battle begins, I'm just going to run all the cavalry towards the enemy. That is the entire plan. Warriors ready! Mounted Raiders! You good to go? Do it! I'll start walking for now. I want them all fresh. Oh, they're prepping those onagers. Here they go. Uh, you took some serious losses there. <laughs> blood sport. Blood sport. I'm just They're looking at all those cavalry running. <laughs> this is going to be great. They're strangely accurate with those onagers. I'm going to split two units off to the side on each side. And they are losing people like crazy. That's right, Onagers. You did your duty. Pack it up. They got one hit on one of your units right at the end that, like, took out 20 horses in one hit. It was pretty nuts. Oh, we will not be. We're going to finish this. <laughs> Do it. <clears throat> Come on, put him down. <laughs> the swarm. I really don't understand this aspect of the AI. So basically what happens is there's finishing moves and they're trying to start a finishing move, but because there's so many friendly troops, like it can't lock on. Boom. Finishing move. That's right. You have further orders? Yeah, maybe I'll take Angulus. I'm kidding. My blood has watered its burned earth. That's weird. 